So I thought it would be useful to run through another feature that's available in vCloud Director 5.1, and that's snapshots. Um, so they're similar to vSphere snapshots, which we're probably all familiar with, um, but with a couple of differences. Um, the main difference being that snapshots are no longer multiple chains deep. So with vCloud Director 5.1, uh, you can only take a single snapshot and revert to that snapshot or take another snapshot which would overwrite it. Um, so that's something to, to bear in mind when utilizing snapshots. However, they're still extremely useful for de-risking deployments um, so that you can recover from failure very quickly. Um, another thing to note is that there are two different types of snapshot in vCloud Director. There is a vApp snapshot which um, will take a snapshot of all the running VMs inside the uh, inside the vApp, including metadata, so things like ownership, um, permissions, um, or metadata associated with a vApp, uh, startup times, um, those kind of things. Um, so for this demonstration, I'm actually going to look at not um, entire uh, vApp snapshots, um, but I'm actually going to um, just do a single vApp, uh, sorry, a single snapshot uh, of a running virtual machine. Um, so if we log on to the virtual machine, and, uh, and create a, uh, a file, um, so if we just first of all list uh, the root directory and uh, and then we create a file and then we list that again um, you can see that we've now created a file called snapshot and uh, I'm now going to go into vCloud director right click on the virtual machine and create snapshot um, similar options that we, you'll be used to with vSphere and the first is to snapshot the memory so that would allow the, the virtual machine to remain online when the snapshot has um, finished restoring uh, and the second option is to quiesce the file system so to make sure that anything um, that, that needs to be written to the file system to make it consistent um, is, is written so that we don't uh, cause a kernel panic for example. Uh, so I'm going to click uh, OK. Now it does take a few minutes for the um, for the snapshot to complete taking. So um, I will pause the video and uh, and come back when it's finished completing. So once the snapshot's completed, if we head back over to the virtual machine console and we do something fairly fairly radical, uh, which is to remove the root partition. And uh, if we let that command run for a couple of minutes, effectively what it's going to do is um, wipe the core operating system from the virtual machine. Um, if I now reset this virtual machine, this will just take a couple of minutes to, uh, to complete. What you'll see happen is the operating system try to read the files from the root disk and uh, it won't be able to do that and it will kernel panic so this virtual machine is effectively trash now um, now in order to roll back um, because we took the snapshot earlier uh, we can right click on the virtual machine and revert to snapshot uh, confirm that you want to do that um, now what this is going to do is effectively um, reload the, uh, the, the point in time snapshot that we took earlier um, it only takes about 20 seconds to do this um, and I'm actually going to leave the video running uh, whilst this process happens, just so you can see how quick it is to res restore or recover service um, after making a fairly serious um, change. And there we go, we can see that the virtual machine has come up in the exact state it was when we took the snapshot, so all the information that was stored in RAM on the virtual machine has also been captured. Um, you can see the last commands that we ran uh, at the shell, um, and you can also see, just to confirm it, that the file that we created before doing the snapshot is, uh, is still there. Um, so that's vCloud Director 5.1 Snapshots. Thank you very much.